One of the most critical components towards building your financial wealth is understanding where your money is going and making sure you're tracking it appropriately. You see, I've been budgeting and using financial trackers for a long time now. I started off with automation tools, but I found I was way too hands off. I wasn't actually being proactive, going into the accounts and just making sure that my finances were in line. What I've found as the best technique is to create a Google Sheet that I can use on my phone, on a laptop, on an iPad, you know, whatever platform I want, and I'm able to just jump in track my expenses and really understand where my money is going. Now, what's really cool about this too is that it really is gonna help me come tax season when I'm balancing things like my own personal finances, my YouTube and business income, and then as well as my rental income that should be coming in soon. So what I'm gonna do is show you exactly how I built this Google Sheet to track my finances and really make sure that I'm in line with everything I need to be in line with. The other thing is, if you wanna just jump to the description, let's say you don't wanna follow the build, you can just go down to the description, click the link and start using this spreadsheet Sheet. I would recommend if you're trying to customize the expenses you had and the labels, that's gonna be talked about in this video, so you might wanna jump to those sections, but let me show you step-by-step step how this is built. Okay, so the emphasis of this finance tracker is gonna be simplicity. We wanna be able to easily come into this, make changes throughout the month or at the end of the month, be able to track exactly what's going on with our income and expenses. So the first thing I'm gonna do is open a new sheet and name it Finance Tracker. And I'm also gonna do this by month down here for the sheets, so this is gonna be January. All right, now that that's all set up, what we're gonna do is focus on the column headers, and it's really straightforward. The first section, we're gonna focus on expenses, so we're gonna look at date, description, category, as well as amount. And that's really all we're gonna need to actually fill in different expenses. Now, what I'm gonna do is make the category a dropdown, so I'm gonna highlight number of cells here and do data, and then go to data validation, and you're gonna click add rule here on the right-hand side. So now you can see it's already set to a drop-down by default, and this is gonna be where you input all of your different expenses. Now your expenses are probably gonna be different than mine. We're gonna have different uh, items coming in that we pay for monthly. And so what I'm gonna do is create a couple categories that I wanna be able to look at my spending, you know, with a fine-tooth comb as I'm going back through. So I'm gonna do that real quick. So once that's all set, you can see on the right-hand side, I have mortgage, utilities, groceries, food and dining out, transportation, rental unit expenses, YouTube and business expenses, and other. Now, again, that's going to be different for you. You can keep this as simple as you want, or you can get as granular as you want to be. But now I'm going to click done over here, and you can see it's a simple drop down. Now I have all of these different categories right here. So as I'm filling it out, I easily can just go in, click on one, like utilities, and then it's all set to go. Now, the thing that I'm going to do real quick is format this as a dollar value. So... I highlight all of D, it's gonna become the currency format. And so now when I type in a number, for example, let's say uh, we had $150 expense, it automatically makes it dollars. The other thing I'm gonna do real quick is just highlight this for formatting. I'm going to bold it. I am going to put this uh, center aligned. And what I like to do is change the background color of it. So I'm gonna make this a dark blue. And then I'm just gonna make the text white to make it look a little bit cleaner here. And so the formatting is, you know, pretty much underway right there. Now what I'm going to do real quick, just so you can see as we're building this out, is input some dummy data, and uh, I'll be right back. So now this is all set right here. What I like to do is also just format this to look a little bit cleaner by changing the color of these cells as I'm doing a specific dropdown. For example, I want mortgage to be a different color than utilities, utilities to be different than YouTube and business expenses, and so on and so forth. So what we're going to do is highlight this first cell here. We're going to go up to format and do conditional formatting. And then for each dropdown you have, we're going to create this rule that automatically would change the colors. So what you do is you set the format rule to is equal to, and then you're going to type the exact name of the expense as it appears in this category column. So the first one's going to be mortgage. And so with mortgage, I'm going to do this blue theme for this. We're going to go down and select uh, this blue color right here. And then I'm going to add another rule and make one for each and every category that we have here. All right, so now you can see on the right hand side, I've inputted all the different expenses with the different color associated to it. So now when I clicked done, it's gonna auto populate this mortgage one. So what I'm gonna do is click on that cell. I'm gonna use this paint format and then I'm gonna highlight the rest of these so it follows that rule. And you can see all of the different colors were now automatically added to these categories. Now the other thing I'm gonna do is just format this a little bit more. And by doing that, I am going to add in borders. And I'm gonna throw that here. And now you can see it's just a much cleaner view for the same table that we have just created. So that's gonna be exactly how you're adding your different expenses. You're gonna be just continuing this chart right here as you incur them or at the end of the month, however you wanna manage it. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is be able to total up 
you know, and compare to your budget where you might be standing. So let me show you how to do that. We're going to do category amount budgeted amount and remainder. Now to keep formatting consistent, we're going to do the same thing we did before with this, uh, with the headers here. So what I'm going to do is fill the background with the darker blue. We're going to bold it. We're going to center it and we are going to change the font to white. So you can see it looks good right there. The next thing I'm going to do is copy over this first expense, and this is going to bring all the formatting with it. So uh, I'm going to drop this down. You're going to want one for each uh, category that you've created. I think I had like eight in there. So I got mortgage. I'm going to do this drop down, do utilities. We're going to do groceries and so on and so forth. And then the last cell, which I'm going to keep the same as the uh, formatting for the top is going to be down here. And we're going to do total. And with that, I'm just going to pull this over for the format colors and then delete these. And so this is looking all right so far. Now what we're going to do is figure out, you know, the exact amount that was spent for all the expenses that you had. So for example, there's two YouTube and business expenses. I might've had like six throughout the month. I want those all added up in one snapshot view over here. So when I look at the YouTube and business expenses, I can see the total that I'd spent the previous month. So I'll put this formula in the description, but we're going to do equals sum if we're going to do the category range. So all the expenses you had in the categories over here, comma, the first category on your new table here. And then we're going to do all the expense ranges as well throughout the month. So again, if you had more, you, you just drag this all the way down as far as you went. And then what we're going to do is also put dollar signs in front of the category ranges and the amount range as well. Then I'm going to go ahead and click enter and you can see it auto populates the rest if I wanted to just bring it down. But let's say you X that out by accident. All you need to do is wait for this, highlight it and get the little plus icon and then drag it down to the bottom. So you can see uh, the other thing we need to do is format this as uh, currency as well. So I'm going to reformat this here. I'm going to do the same thing for the budgeted amount. And now you can tell exactly what's going on here. It's adding them up. So you can see food and dining out $132 total. So that came from the 77 and $55 expense and then 685 for YouTube, uh, which came from the 110 and 575 here. So it is a, you know, pretty straightforward. This is going to give you that snapshot view again. And then what I'm going to do is total it all up down here. So I'm going to do equals sum, and then I'm going to select all the range above. And you can see my amount that I had spent in this example scenario is $3,597. Now the budgeted column, this is pretty straightforward. This is what you are going to set forth for your budget. So yours is going to be different than me, but like, I know that, you know, my mortgage every month is going to be the same payment. So I know that that's going to be that $2,400 amount there. And then throughout, you know, however you're spending, if you're trying to save, you can do different things here, but uh, I'm just going to plug in sample values to show you the difference on if you're over budget, if you're under budget and what you have for the leftover balance. So the next thing I'm going to do is drag this total with the plus icon over just to copy the uh, equation. And you can see that the amount that I have actually spent $3,597 is over budget. So $3,430. So to figure out the remainder you have for each category, what I'm going to do is another equation here equals take the budgeted amount, and then I'm going to subtract the actual amount here and then hit enter. And then you can see it copies down those equations again. But again, you could do that plus icon and drag it straight down. If you'd like, you're going to see that it's pretty straightforward. You can tell that this was within budget. $0 is it, how much I have remaining. This one, I went over budget by $30 and 72 cents. You can see that here. This one is under budget $25 extra. So I could reallocate that or, you know, if I'm doing this throughout the month, know exactly how much that I have left in that category. And so that's all it is for expenses right here. So the next thing I like to do is look at our income. And so what I'm going to do is take three of these just for formatting, copy them, bring them down here, paste it. And what we're going to do is have a date. We're going to do income source and amount as well. So that's pretty straightforward. Let me just bring that a little bit bigger. And then you're going to look at your different, uh, your, your different income sources that you have. So let's say on the first I'm paid my regular nine to five paycheck. And for example, um, we'll say paycheck pay nine to five. And so for example, we'll say that this was $2,400. And then the next thing well, I get paid every two weeks. So on the 15th, we had another value come in, let's say, um, same source nine to five, we got $2,400 coming in again. Then let's say YouTube pays me on the 22nd and we'll say YouTube here and put it at, I don't know, 
seven hundred dollars. And then let's say we had one more income source, twenty uh, fifth for rental income. So I'll do rental income and I'll say it was, I don't know, 1200 bucks. Uh, these are all just hypotheticals. Now with this, what I like to do is categorize these as well. So you can put all of your different income sources here. And so again, you would click on data and then data validation. And you're gonna make this a drop down again, go ahead and add a rule. And I'm gonna go and do nine to five. And then I'm gonna do YouTube, YouTube, and then rental income. So I keep it pretty straightforward for this example. I'm going to go ahead and click done here. And what I like to do again is just color these. Uh, so I'm going to go up into format, conditional formatting once more, and I'll do a green theme for these ones. So I'm going to do is equal to, and then we'll say, let's see, nine to five. I'm going to make it this lighter green right here. I'm going to add another rule. We'll do YouTube here. And now that that's done again, I forgot to add the borders up here. So I'm going to do that and just make that look a little bit cleaner and the same for down here as well. Now this is looking pretty good. Uh, one more thing you might want to do down here is just another total, um, just to total up your income. So I'm going to click this, copy it down here, paste it here. And for this, I will do equals sum and then highlight the cells above it in this category. So you can see the total income that I have here is $6,700. And then lastly, what I like to do is compare my total income versus the amount that I have going out. So the expenses that are coming in just to give me that snapshot view of how my spending was that month. And so I made these right here, these headers, amount earned, amount spent and remainder. And what I'm going to do is just copy the formatting here, make it the same, go ahead and paint that there. And then I'll make this a little bit larger. And so now it's pretty straightforward. What I'm going to do is equals, and then it's going to be this right here. So that's how much I earned amount I spent. It's going to be equals. And then the total amount right here. And then the remainder is going to obviously be, uh, the amount earned minus the amount spent. And you can see, so for that month, after all said and done with all the expenses in this example, I would have $3,102.28 left over. So what I like to do is actually look at the overall spending breakdown as well of these. So what I'm going to do is introduce a couple different visuals for you. So I'm going to highlight the categories as well as the amounts, and I'm not going to take any of the uh, headers here. So what I'm going to do is do insert and I'm going to go into chart and I'm going to actually do, um, a 3D pie chart, just because I think it looks a little bit cleaner. You can go ahead and change the fonts or whatever you want to do to customize it. But basically, you can see 68% of the expenses that I have is going directly to that mortgage. And you can create a ton of different visuals that just help aid in looking, you know, exactly where your money's going, how it's going to break down with your income as well. And uh, it just makes it so much cleaner when you're just popping in here, entering data, this is going to update automatically and it's going to look really good. The other thing I like to look at visually is just understanding the amount that I budgeted and the actual amount that I spent and comparing them to see if they were in or out of budget without just looking at this chart, just from a visual point of view. So what I'm going to do is highlight these first three uh, columns here. I'm going to go ahead and insert another chart and this will pull in uh, one where it actually has that comparison. So in blue, it's the amount that I actually spent in red. It's the amount that I budgeted. And then you can change the values on the left-hand side to make it a little bit more zoomed in or not. But I'm going to pull this in here as well, make it a little smaller, drag it down here. What I'm going to do is just clean up this Excel just a little bit. I'm going to pull this so I can see it all uh, easily from one location, pull this over here. And I mean, this is really all it is. So I would just continue adding more expenses as they come along. Maybe you want the charts on the right hand side. So you can highlight those, drag them over here and uh, you can have a, a wider point of view for this stuff. And then as expenses keep rolling in, you would fill them in down below. And it just makes it so much easier to understand where your money is going and how it's being spent and keep on top of your tracking. So that's pretty much it. It's really straightforward. If you guys have any questions as you're building this out, or you want to just jump down again to the description, take this template and start using it. I'm going to make a share for it down there. So just be sure to check that out. If you made it this far into this video, you might as well click that like button. Really appreciate all the support you guys are giving me. So uh, thank you so much. Happy budgeting and have a great day.